Uh, okay, so for uh, the next food you're gonna draw, we're gonna uh, be working on a donut. Um, <clears throat> donuts, uh, I would say the simplest of the uh, foods that we're drawing here, but again, that's relative to me. Um, if you're not very confident with curved lines, um, then this might be a bit of a struggle for you. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, I like to start with the inside of the donut first um, because everything else is kind of proportionate to that, um, <clears throat> that inside hole, all right? So the shapes or the marks that I do, sorry, the marks that I make, it's like a parentheses, okay? And then uh, the inside, the other side of that hole is another parentheses, but slightly smaller, all right? So once I have that inner hole, I can now uh, figure out <clears throat> how big to make the rest of the donut. So what's important here is that the space at the top of the donut and the bottom of the donut should be equal, right? You don't normally see donuts with like one side being bigger than the other. Uh, so I like to start with that side and then go around. Notice that this curve follows the same curve um, as the this side right here. Okay, make sure that those are the same. If it's too like boxy, then it's gonna look like this side is too big. Then you're gonna go down. Um, these two, oh, sorry. Uh, these two parts right here and where my pencil is now, that should be about the same height. Um, and uh, you connect those two points with a curved line that matches this line here. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect, but try to do your best. Uh, then I like to add these, three li little lines here, because if you look at a donut, um, the top part, right, the, the part of the donut that everyone usually sees with the glaze on it is usually a little bit bigger than the bottom part, and it leaves a little bit of a lip. Um, so that's why I have these lines here. It makes it look more three-dimensional, all right? So then I'm gonna show you again <clears throat> uh, how, to how to draw a donut, except this time I'm going to add some sprinkles. Um, so again, following the same, uh, the same steps uh, with the middle part first, right? The hole first, and then um, going up and around. Sorry, my left hand is just blocking everything. Okay, so up and around uh, the curves matching the ins uh, the outside curves matching the inside curves here, right? Again, this one should match this curve, and then this bottom curve should match this curve. Okay, notice here the height of these two parts is pretty similar. Um, this one's a little bit lower, which is why it looks a little bit off, but if you don't really think about it, you can't really tell as long as it's close enough. And then I have those three lines again. And for sprinkles, I'm just gonna add these little like dark lines. <clears throat> if, it's, if it's black like this, right, then it's probably gonna look like a chocolate sprinkle. But if you don't want it to be a chocolate sprinkle, you, you can um, just leave it empty inside, right? Just draw the, the, um, the oval. <clears throat> with a with uh, a white or blank in inner part, and that'll look like vanilla sprinkles or something, 